way. Morning. <laughs> wow. wow. Yesterday just feels like a dream, a bonkers dream. Wow, I just walked for a, a long way. So this is where I ended up. A lovely little spot if you look, like amongst the trees, out of the way. Not flat, I was sliding. I kept sliding just in a hunch. Basically just in a hunch in the, at the bottom of the, of the tent. A wild night was had. Rain like I've never known, just bouncing. Thunder, like just flashes of lightning. It was wild. And I've got up this morning and the midges are out. In the night, the wind just stopped off completely. Not a breeze. And I've pitched it quite low to the ground, so the condensation was pretty bad. I mean, uh, I mean, merino wool, acclimer. They look like just, I don't know, like a bootleg superhero leggings. I'm basically just in all my sleep gear. I'm gonna hike in it today because I couldn't face putting on everything that was drenched. I've got all my stuff squared away. I just need to uh, square the old wigwam away. Performed well though in the storm. Sturdy as. Right then, oh man, I'm gonna have to do some yoga. Stretch out a little bit because we've got another big day today. But for now, let's get this tent packed away. There we are, no trace left, just some flattened grass. Nice little camp spot. An essential camp spot. It was getting on, it was getting late. Well, you, if you'd have seen the last episode, whew, we got caught in it. Here we go, let's go and have a medic up here, look. Medic! Medic, with all due respect. Medic. A beautiful morning. 10 to 7. So I'm on schedule. I, I plan to set off at 7 this morning on what is going to be the final day of the Sky Trail, day 4. I had a little look at my GPS last night and uh, we're. Well, I'm. <laughs> 18 miles away from the finish, but I've got it in the locker. As I'm walking now, I'm feeling my feeling around myself. <laughs> Nothing, mate. All green everywhere. <laughs> All green everywhere. Glowing green. Did a marathon yesterday if I didn't mention it already. <laughs> right, let's see what today brings in, sir. It is forecast to rain later on at about three, so that's my goal. Try and get back before then. We're gonna take in some more of this glorious Scottish scenery. Heading to Torin now. Cut around and follow the coast around. And apparently there's a chance to see otters. So stay tuned for otter. It might be it might be chance on this one. When the tiredness kicks in, I remember the last episode on my Cape Raft trail, it all went a bit to shit because I just started talking about space and eating Ferrero Rochers on, in space and that. <laughs> because you just, your mind was just a bit mush, I think. Even though I know what I was on about. Right, anyway, waffle chops. Now on this one, I'm just talking about the time I talked about it. Dear me. Tell you what, there was a cuckoo last night. Where are we? There was a cuckoo last night, just parked himself up right next to the tent. Ooh, ooh. I enjoyed it. Ah, oh, but I didn't get much sleep again last night. That's two nights of not much sleep because I'm not even looking at this gate, mate. It's just one of these new... Oh, well, listen, let's have a listen. That's actually quite good, and then all the rainwater falling off. Yeah, good, actually. Two nights of not much sleep at all because it was just pelting it down. With the storm, it's hard to get a proper sleep, so... Whew. Right then, Strathayard. I better have a look at my map and see what's going on.
all this on my map was woodland. And a little deep, it came off the road here. It says you're going to cut through two woods. This is the first one. RIP. Hopefully there'll be another one. Every day, I can't remember, but we'll get this one done now. Beautiful mountains, except for that one, it is really beautiful, but it looks too much like a mountain. We're living in a simulator, man, and they got that bit wrong. They were like, Right, mountains, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone put them out on there. We don't have any, just copy and paste the drawing of a mountain that a kid's done. Bosh, check this out, mate. Cometh. Look at it. Isn't it peaceful? Is it going to give me a nice day for my last day? Please, after annihilating me yesterday. Getting cocky, aren't I? <laughs> Ain't got too many of them left in the tank. I've sacked the road off to come across here. You can cut across this bit, just hopping around over these grassy. Am I gonna? <laughs> it's loads more fun than road. I was sick of road walking. And if I get my feet wet, I don't care. It's just really interesting to walk over it. Look at it. It's rock pools, salt water, but it's grass. Shit banter, sorry. I don't have much left in <laughs> the, the banter. The banter levels are low. I need to find a new level with bant because it's not, it's not what you deserve. You deserve better from me. It's like a computer game, this. Like a shit computer game. <laughs> Jumping up. You're gonna get, take your GTA 5 hiker character and jump over these grassy bits without getting wet. It looks like there's a little coffee cafe pop up thing there, but it looks closed. Heartbreak. I can't get my hopes up because it does look closed. Please be open. It's closed. <laughs> it opens at 11, so. I'm not going to sit around for two hours waiting for a banjo and a brew crack on. It's going to be one of them days. I've got I've got no trail snacks left, but I do have a I got one camping meal left. I'll have it if I'm desperado. Otherwise, I'll just bat on all day, and it'll make getting into uh, getting to the end at around maybe three o'clock that much more special. Because food drinks the lot. That's where I came over these mountains. Uh, camped around that bend there. And we've made it all the way around here. Right, I'm on the nine mile mark. So I said to myself, on the nine mile mark, which is halfway for today, I'm going to stop, fill my water up, have a coffee and uh, replenish my waters, make some thirsty. Sweet. So I've just filled my bottle, but well, I've got about a litre of water from there and put uh, one of my electrolyte tablets in the water. So I'm just going to stick with that. Just have some electrolytes. It's just another nine. I mean, is it just another nine? After I've just done nine, but it's just another nine miles and it's just nice. I mean, I was struggling there a little bit with, I was dehydrated, I think, but 
a bit of water completely just changes your mindset. The chatting has gone down because you get into a mindset of like, right, one foot in front of a, we're enjoying it, we're just, we're hiking, I get, and then I just forget that I'm uh, videoing it, which is not bad, is it? Just enjoying the moment. All right, mate. Oh, there's the path. What am I on? Some mad, mad other path. The guidebook says, said that amazing for like wildlife and marine life and there was a chance maybe to see otters and seals and stuff, but look how far away from sea I am. There's no way I'm seeing an otter, am I from here? Hey, look at that, an otter. No, shit ban to that, but I'm sticking with it. It's just been pleasant, really. There's not been any like magnificent things to bring you or poignant things. It's just been like really nice hiking along this trail. And so we go along here, then we turn left up here. And that's the big long straight. Anyway, fuck, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And it's boring, I'm boring myself. Why well, I'm just boring, see ya. So, we're down here now. Probably, yeah, good. Good chances of seeing a sea otter, then you could recognize it, so. Yeah, take it back guidebook, you were right. I would love to see a sea otter. Otter, whatever. Come on. I'm so hungry, mate, I can't wait. All, you know, all, I'm, going, all I'm doing in made is like cooking stuff and eating different things and just thinking about food. This is the village of Borareg. These houses were destroyed during the Highland Clearances which took place during the mid 1800s. This highly controversial practice involved forcibly removing people from the land, either to redeploy elsewhere in the country, or in some cases, to pack them onto immigrant ships. For this reason, many Scottish people in the 19th century started new lives in Canada, America, Australia, and New Zealand. Their ancestors remain in those countries today. There's a standing stone and a remarkable footbridge over a stream consisting of a single slab stone which is said to have been lifted in place by one man, Glagan Gulin, or Knees, who was alive in the 18th century. I've passed a couple of people setting off doing the sky trail that way, which is a lot of people do do it that way. And here are my thoughts. The pros to doing it from south to north is that you can just leave your car, you can stay in an Airbnb or the campsite or whatever, and then you can bat on straight away the next day without having to get two buses to the beginning. You can get a full day in. The prevailing winds for the majority of it will be at your back, which would help. And the most like majestic part of it, the Trotinus Ridge and the Old Man of Store and stuff will be towards the end so you're sort of gearing up to that and there's a romance as well at finishing at a red phone box in the middle of nowhere i quite like that um, it's the same as the cape raft trail finishing at the lighthouse you have this beacon in your mind that you're trying to get to but when once you get there and it's what i found doing the cape raft trail is that you and especially more so doing this one because they're in a tuck shop or anything or a hostel you're just there You'd finish, you'd get to the red phone box and then you're like, all oh, right, now, depending on what time you finished, you have to wait for a bus to take you to Portree and then get a bus from there to Broadford to the beginning, which could be seen as a bit of a chew after you've just slotted. Like now, if I got, if I was now, had to get two buses and sort all that out, I'd be devastated. <laughs> and that's why I've done it. It's, I've done it so that when I get to the finish, I can, uh, Get something nice to eat, jump in my van, and uh, off ski. Done. And also the guidebook does it this way, so I'm just following guidebook. I can see benefits for both, and there is a there is a lot of people doing it that way, who I've just been speaking to now. Just under four miles 
to go. And quarter past one, making such good time. Just realised I'm wearing pyjamas, but that's all right, isn't it? When you've put the miles in, you can stroll into town dressed however you want. Tutu on, big feather headdress. Don't matter. Oh, they probably can't wear a headdress. I probably couldn't get away with that. Tutu, mind you. Is that the road there? We have to do a bit of road work, I think. I think we end it on a bit of road work, which again, if you were going to do it the other way around, you get that out of the way first and then you finish with that mint. Oh God, it seems like a lifetime ago, but you finish uh, with that amazing bothy looking out to the sea. And then it's only a short walk to the road, to the phone box and to the bus stop. So I would recommend doing it that way, actually. I didn't see an otter. <laughs> I didn't see an otter. Quick look at this. I've done one of these for latch and locks, but look, I'll do one for you lot. The different colours. At first alarming, but then I'm, I like it. He's got his string on top. And then listen to this. For, you'd think it rusty old gate, it'd be creaking horrible, but that is that's smooth. Absolutely stunning. I ain't got now. I've literally turned camera on just to tell you I've got nothing. I'm like doing all this section, I'm thinking I'm not even chatting or doing out or making a video. I'm like, I can't. It's because, you know, I've done a lot of miles and I've not eaten today and it is now quarter past two so I'm just like right just focusing it's difficult to chat breeze when you're focusing and there's a chippy <laughs> there's a chippy I'll be having fish and chips now but woo! so excited I might even have a pint if I'd have managed to do it before I pissed the camper van I could have maybe have took my time a little bit more but because I was a bit stubborn and was like, right, let's get on it. I've had to crush it out and I've done that. So I can't have a pint because I've got to drive for hours. So don't want to have a pint in you. But I'll tell you what, that fish and chips will get hadoukened straight into the grill. Oh my God, I'm not going to start talking to you about what my order, what's your order? Good question, I'll tell you exactly what it is now. We'll save that for another series. Right, uh, I'll put you away. Focus on this. It's not the prettiest bit to walk on really. And I can't see these, these are in my rear view mirror now. So I've just got them little hills. Check out latch and locks if you want. There haven't been too many latch and locks on this one, but there has been some nice ones. And you can follow latch and locks here. People think it's a joke, it isn't a joke. It's actually doing all right. It's a total, keep looking behind me just in case there's people behind me listening to me waffling about latch and locks. One of my videos went viral. Got over a million views. And then another couple went pretty viral and loads of people started following it and so now the majority of people that follow latch and locks don't even know that i started latch and locks they're there they don't know the origin story of me and joey d making jokes about starting a latch and lock festival it was all done as a joke that got out of hand now and now it's like is it a joke no it's become full circle i don't even know what it is anymore but what I do love is seeing all these people and some of them are celebrities, some of them are like, <laughs> there's a lot of blue tick people following Latch and Locks, just being like, this is a genuinely wholesome 
page where you can appreciate the finer things in life, like latches and locks. And it will forever be funny to me that, and I will forever, until, until my last breath, I'll keep posting on latch and locks, because <laughs> it's just lols. And uh, it's also not lols, it's serious, because there's a lot to be appreciated, and also I do appreciate them. I've made a lot of gates whilst landscaping, and I appreciate the mechanisms, I appreciate the woodwork. And there you go. You can tell I'm tired, man. I'm just waffling on about latch and locks now. There we go. I can smell that hawthorn flower. Not the nicest smell. Pretty though. Get in there. Hey. <laughs> there it is, look. Broadford on the horizon. Hee <laughs> Their road work should have finished feet off. <laughs> if they weren't tired already, get them a, have a good mile or so on tarmac. Flat tarmac should sort you out. We are entering Broadford and the end of the Sky Trail. There is no plaque or monument or anything that you touch or any ritual that you do. It's just you get here and you're finished. <laughs> A lot for me to think about. What a trip, man, what a trip. <laughs> when I think about the first time coming up, I've driven so far and then it all going terribly wrong. Having that camp out with the dolphins and that, but if it hadn't have gone wrong, I wouldn't have seen them dolphins and had that camp out. That was amazing. But it has been an expensive one in fuel and in time. I'm finding it hard to give my final thoughts because there's so much traffic keeps going past and disrupting my rhythm uh, so forget it <laughs> I just want to say thanks to everyone who's managed to watch this far I do appreciate it and thanks for all the kind words I also appreciate that and I love you all bye for now map time <laughs> welcome to the final map time before we get into map time I just want to say you can check out my Patreon, um, it's just £3 for the month. You can pay for one month, unlock hours and hours of podcasts, vlogs, camping room tours, me and Joey D. There's lots of stuff on there, you can unlock it for three quid, unlock all that content and cancel at the end of the month if you want. Or if you want to stick around, I do post videos early on there, we do giveaways, podcasts and you'll be supporting the channel. Thank you. Right, let's get into it. After a soggy one, we woke up here in this little woodland to a lovely sheep medic, with all due respect. And off we went, straight out the gate, road work. But it was glorious, a glorious morning. So here, instead of going along and carrying along the road, I cut off up here, because on the other map it said there was woodland up here, but it, uh, it had been felled, but it was glorious along here. The mountains in the distance, a stunning way to start the day. Around here, then we hit the road. And then if the tide's out, you can cut across here, across the marshlands. It's more interesting than going around the road. And then we're back on the road, down here. There is a little butty van here that opens at half 11, but I wasn't going to wait around. So I cracked on through Turin, up here, then you sort of double back on yourself down this road, and then it becomes a track. They say you can see otters, really otter, but I didn't see out. Along here, stopped here to fill up my water, carried on, lovely walking along here actually. And then you drop down onto the coast, such a remote area. Along I went to Bora Rig, to the old village and the ruins. Had a little look around there. Climb up out of here. I was getting a bit fatigued by this point. So <laughs> the energy levels were pretty low. All the way across here. Bumped into a few people who were going the other way. Had a nice chat to them. And then we start heading our way towards the finish. You stay off the road as long as you can. 
Then we join the road just to finish your trotters off back to Broadford and the end of the Sky Trail. What an unbelievable adventure from start to finish. Sometimes in life things don't go your way, but don't look at it as failure. Look at it as an opportunity to get back on the horse and accomplish your goals with even more determination than before. Then, when you finally achieve your goal, it'll be that much sweeter for it. Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.